Okay, so, welcome to the finals of the Grand Open Tournament, where we have Code of Misconduct playing against the team that has renamed the most this tournament, currently named T-Shirts Confirmed, also known as Rulebook Readers and NS at Comp Mod Council, and from season... 15 something else entirely that I've forgotten. We will be playing Nexus for the first map of this best of seven. That's best of seven rounds, not maps. So we'll probably be seeing hmm, a guaranteed two maps. We may, may see a third. But yeah, this is a video of Nexus showcasing some of the rooms. And then this is the mini-map of Nexus. Where you will have Marines always spawning in receiving, and aliens always spawning in extraction. Normally, you will probably see aliens take either this top side or this bottom side but normally not both because it's extremely far apart of course in opting to take one side over the other you know marines have this lovely lane up top that allows them one two three rts with a potential fourth in staging normally a gate from receiving it's, uh, it's possible to lock down a lot of the map, a lot of the res. But then in doing so, you have to hope no scopes get through that lane. Because once they're up there, it's a long way to go and deal with them. Of course, when you say you hope they don't get through that lane, when it's as easy as run past this and hop on through... You marines really have to be a little bit on point. Of course, on the other side of the map, a place that aliens are very commonly expanding towards, you have Relay. It's a hive room, so that's great. It has a res node, that's also great. But it has <coughs> this, this nice small little doorway that is pretty easy to defend, a whip covers it, will hit pretty much anyone coming through that door. So, it's very, very annoying for a marine to push into this room. At least if well defended. And of course that gives aliens their natural, fairly comfortably. But this middle lane does let marines rotate through pretty much where they want to go. And if you, uh, you don't get your parasites out and you don't have aura... It could be behind you before you know it. So we're just checking some rules, making sure everyone's got their recordings and streamings going. Hopefully sooner rather than later we get this game underway. Who are we waiting on? Heracles. Ugh.
So. This, this should start within the next few minutes. Because if it doesn't, they end up forfeiting around anyway. So. Just waiting on Heracles to get in the team. I'm assuming he's not in the team because he's not here. So they have their countdown. Just call them the phone team. Hmm. That might give phone too much of like a hold over the team, you know? <clears throat> Who knows where Hera went, apparently. We'll never find out. But we're getting there, we're getting ready, and pretty much everyone's here. Now we just have the solid pre-game banter between both teams. Which is a shame you don't get the mid-game banter, because they didn't allow it. You know, maybe while we sit here and we wait for these people to figure out what they are doing, We'll uh, put the bracket up and then you can see how they got here. So, we started out with Code of Misconduct taking a fairly easy 2 0 over the Sneaky Skooks. Which, uh, a little bit of a skill difference between those teams. You know, if it was a pub game, there definitely would have been a few shuffles to make it even. But after that, they took on the Nazi Hunters, who we just saw lose out to the uh, T-Shirts Confirmed team. And after that, they took on this team again. T-Shirts Confirmed or NSAT Comod Council. And they did win that 3-2. So, we'll see if they can keep that 3-2 up again, or if they'll... Uh, Lose out. Meanwhile, NSA Comrade Council got a nice free buy in that first round. Started off in round two, taking 2 0 over Icelandic Volcano, and then dropped down into a lower bracket after losing to Code of Misconduct, where you just saw them take on Nazi Hunter, who put off a damn good fight and lost out, unfortunately, to a base rush. Which was a, a still a pretty damn close play, base rush. So now we're here in the finals. Code of Misconduct, NSAC, Comp Mod Council. So, when we're ready, 
And when Hera gets back, they'll uh, get this underway. All right, Hera is in. There's some fancy noises in this map. They don't exist anywhere else in the map. And both teams readied up. T-shirts confirmed, code of misconduct. Harrier teams, everyone's here. We have no mercs. Spring is the only one not on Code of Misconduct today. He helped them out a lot yesterday. And here they are, starting off over in Extraction. And T-Shirts confirmed on the other side of the map with a 3-2 split. And they're about to run head-on first into Awakened Turts and Loam, actually. We get a nice clean pick off on Hypey. Marsh is going to manage to kill one of them. Not pistol switching fast enough, but April there being the third. Able to not clean up. Wake does manage to finish one. And Golden managed to fall to his death in this vent on the other side of the map somehow. It's a shame we missed that. But here's the cleaning up two of these scoops. He's going to have two more to deal with him. Fortunately for him, he's not going to get them all. Wake the hero of both sides, saving both of the fights into his team's favor. And now, IP not going to be able to take down Loam. As Phone's not in that chair anyway. Golden was for a second, but just to drop RTs. So, there are six Marines on the field. There are no meds. Tuts is now gorging. Didn't gorge straight away, came in for that early game pressure. So now we're just going to see how this unfolds and how people get across the map. Because these aliens are very aggressive on their expansion. If they just manage to kill a loam up here. And he's not parasited, but he would die to one if it was to hit. Marsh found himself up into overhang and might be able to kill that RT, but he's going to go in behind Star. So, never mind. Wakes found himself up into North Basin. As if I was zoomed in far enough, you'd see the name. But Hypey and Marsh do manage to take out this Rose Node. They haven't capped really behind them. That's going to be April's job. And Zaffold and Wake pushing up into North Basin again. His stays here to clean that up. No one's going to get anything done to that node. But again, no Marines have got onto that North Lane either. So while this has died on the Marine Nat or the Alien Natural, Hypia Marsh, three Skulks to deal with in the base. Heracles sneaking his way behind them through the vent. And that Drifter just trying to bait some shots out as Hypey's going to back up into Heracles. Marsh in a position not to be able to assist, but does manage to push on in. There is mucus down on these skulks, so they do have that extra shield on their health. And Marsh is going to be able to clean this up with the help of Golden. Marsh goes off to the side. And Heracles is going to clean up both of them. Meanwhile, Turtz, he's claimed this whole top side across the map. Well, okay, most of the top side. Platform hasn't been dropped yet. He's been putting some pressure down into North Basin with Babblers. And he's got a nice little clog wall with webs and hydras everywhere. And bile mines. So, Lurks are up. Wake, Heracles, and Zaffold. It's a three Lurk. Who are just opting to help make sure this gorge gets that tunnel up. And soon, Hypey and Marshmallow are going to be pushing down into staging. 
and someone's gonna have to deal with that problem as Golden might be the first one to find out that there are a couple of lurks. <coughs> okay, all the lurks instantly backing up here. They are not actually backing up to rotate to this fight straight away, they're backing up to grab regen. And down they come. All three pretty successful cleanup. Zaffod, the only one really taking any damage. But not to worry, they have a gorge. Now, with this tunnel, crag, and lurks, that's a hell of a room to be pushing. As a solo marine, the verticality in that room, not great fun to be dealing with. Aliens on the high ground, they've got the tunnel on the high ground. It's very awkward. Is they gonna have the same problem that Golden just had? Too many lurks for one person to deal with. Now, it's a three-man group of marines. That's something that can deal with three lurks. And then Marsh goes a different direction anyway. But he might be able to pinch one of these lurks on the rotation out, or even Zaffold on the rotation in. Doesn't actually do any of that. Wake's getting ready to give him some spikes. Takes a fair bit of damage. And every alien is going to get out successfully. Loam going for the ambush is going to be able to pick off his stay there. But during this, Golden found himself into Alien's main base. He's desisted the RT. Not done a lot of damage to it, but he's also desisted the rest of the map, as has Hypey. So, staging has died. Hypey's just sat here in this corner. No one has aura to find her easily. She's doing a lot of damage onto that. Onto Heracles and Wake, actually. But. Even with the cis chain broken, this hive is still safe enough to drop, and the marines are all down on the south side at the moment. And now Heracles, the lone lurk, trying to take on two marines, two of the best shots in the game, Marshmallow and April. Just comes down to a case where there's a lot of firepower there. All of those lurks were low and Wake loses his life. Some nice meds coming out from phone. Armor 2 doing God's work for these marines and Armor 3 is already on the way. As is the advanced, or oh, the advanced armor is actually up. So now, less lurks to defend. Hypey and Golden. And... Scoops on the way. But Golden goes a bit too far forward. It's just going to be mauled before Hypey can even help out. But as you say that, Marsh and April down into extraction. Going to get one shell for their troubles, maybe? Maybe not. They might actually get a lurk instead. Zaffod so low, 18 health, has to hop in the hive to survive. A little bit of a... Uh, Target picking issues there. The tunnel took a little bit and the shell took a lot. It could have killed one of them. But fades are on the way. And unfortunately for the fades, armor 3 is going to hit. Oh, that's going to be a right pain. <coughs> Actually, I think it's just the loam fade for now. There's a hell of a lot of meds going down in this fight. And the only thing that nearly died was Turtz, and he manages to survive. Taunts his success in the face of that Marine team. So, res capping. April is here. This is three Marines in this room, and April with a HMG is a nasty combination. Marsh has one too. Heracles is low. Probably not going to find his way out of that room. He does not. Loam took a lot of damage and is going to have to go back to the hive to heal. And now, weapons one is on the way. So, Wake's going to fall on this res node. Not a huge loss for the alien team in losing a skulk. But the res biting is low just because there is only that one skulk. Well, you know, Heracles died. So I guess technically there are two now. 
this is a bit of a standoff. Three marines and a lot of aliens. Zaford straight down to eight health. Gordon's HMG decimating him. April's doing a fair amount of damage. Getting all negated by the gorge. Golden doesn't have the time to reload that HMG though. So aliens win that fight. Here's they trying to come in behind to rescue the HMG. Lots of meds for him. Loam's going very low actually. 41 health. Does get out alive. But he's going to have to go all the way back to the hive to get healed up. As yet more HMGs start to pressure. Marine's actually managing to cap the alien natural here. So Wake's going to bite that one down. Should be a nice easy kill. As Histe and Marsh push up into Stadrin. Phase Tech is finally on the way. The OBS has only just been finished. But it's about time that the Marines got some gates. Because this map's very long and unforgiving if you start falling behind. Right now they're doing fine. Their weapons 1, armor 3, weapons 2 on the way as well. They've been given a lot of res, but so have the aliens. So, even though they started out with that one fade, Turtz is at 35 res. Too off going to the fade if he chooses. But he might opt to get upgrades before then. But that also might be forced upon him depending on if this gorge dies. So, big alien pack in the middle of the map right now. They've all pretty much been scanned out. And poor Marsh and Histe have to fight them all. The fade that died was a hallucination. So... That's unfortunate for Marines, but it's showing that Drifter support working wonders. It's a right pain to deal with hallucinations when you don't know what, what is what. Heracles not going to be able to do anything against two Marines on the RT by himself. And in fact, Marines recapping in overhang. Still keeping themselves on six RTs, so even though aliens are sat on four, it's not the biggest problem when they're sat on six. Although saying that, Wake and Zafford now just gonna go clear some res on this south side. Turtz does lose his gorge finally. But again, it is at the res where he can just fade. So Heracles ambushing Golden does manage to get the pick. And now Marsh versus Loam. It's a fair bit of damage in. And oh, Zafford went down to Hypey and April. Can we go in for like one fight at a time? It's easier to keep track of. Marsh doing decent damage over here though. He's going to get this Resonoid down. And that poor Drifter. It was cloaked hiding in the corner and scouting everything. But it's not going to find its way out. Hypey has almost unlimited bullets in a HMG. And this gate... Might... Ah, it's not gonna fall. In fact, the aliens opt to leave before it's even that low. And this does give them another gate opportunity on the map. Zaphod's gonna spike and Loam's gonna come in for some swipes. Though it takes a lot of damage, leaving through that tiny little gap. And now four marines over on this side of the map. In fact, five on the south side in general. Golden's going to lose the 1v1 to Heracles' Skulk. Which means Hypey's rotating back to save that res node. And in doing so, saves it comfortably with a HMG. His stay is welding down a res node because apparently he thinks that's a good choice. And there's a base rush. Well, it's not really a base rush. One person died and in the process of this, Golden could have pinched, but with a rifle against that much stuff and hallucinations, it's going to be difficult to pick anything off successfully. Again, the only fade really dying is a hallucination. Turtz does get out with 120 health remaining. So for now, life forms just staying alive and being a nuisance as they should be. Marine's having a bit of difficulty trying to kill them. And now, 
Aliens look like they were positioning to try and take out this back cool gate. And April's gonna go down to Zaford, but Zaford's gonna get picked right as he gets out of the room. The HMGs yet again just showing their power. But Wake, yet again showing the power of the Skulk. You got Leap, you get at their feet, and when they aren't on the right weapon, it's gonna die. Wake manages to also clean up that RT. He will die, but he got the job done. Advanced Meta! At the exact same time jetpacks have started. So, fades have a bit more sustain across the map now. If they get too low and get trapped, they do have the regen from metabolizing. So, out of fights, they will be able to heal slightly. And Star is out on the rose now not sat in the hive, so there's no drift to support in a lot of these fights anymore, or at least for right now. Although, he does get picked off as he leaps his way out of the room. Wake may just be out of that scan range, and might be able to pick April off here. The leap to get up nice and close very quickly allows him to get on top. And Zaphod on that. <laughs> Guess they might be aware of it. Maybe not. Never mind. He does get the pick. So. Marines lost a lot of their map. They're down to three RTs. They've got a fourth one building down here with Golden. But they're going to lose this one. And they're going to lose it to Fades at that. There's not one, even really anyone to rotate in. The Phase Gates... Cross the map, I mean they have to phase from one to the other to get out of backcourt, but again, that does die, and Heracles is not going to find his way out of here. There's a wake just sitting around the lip, as Golden throws his rifle into the hole. If that HMG had been despawned, that would have been a good meme. But, what it did allow was for Wake to call out that they have jetpacks and Zaffold finds out that the <laughs> HMG jetpack is something that's extremely difficult to get away from even as a Lurk and a Fade and Wake is gonna have the same problem now can't just sit around the edge when there are jetpacks that can just peek over even get scanned And how long before Gordon falls in yet another hole? As this is looking like aliens really want to try and clear these. They do have three fades up again. Heracles is fading. His stays kind of split and there is aura available. So Loam knows this. Or well, Loam should be able to call this. And Everyone goes in on Marsh who's not going to die straight away. He does get picked off eventually, but not without doing a ton of damage. Two of those fades very low. Heracles is the only one still in the area. Just using that advanced metabolize to heal himself back up. And now, all the fades on the north side they're just scouting out by the looks of things. Rain's still happy with the six RTs they're holding. They do have this entire south side <coughs> and the gate in the middle of the map allows them to keep enclave up as well so now this is pretty much boiling down into who's going to make the first mistake and lose a lot of stuff and ultimately if marines start losing lots of stuff in these 1v1s like they're doing they're going to be spending a lot of their pures they do have a lot well okay some of them have a fair amount banked, but they don't really have enough to keep buying jetpacks over and over like this. Meanwhile, if these fades go down, only one of them can re-fade. So, fades need to be a little bit careful, except for Loam, who can just run in and die and re-fade if he wants. But now, three fades on a gate. Marines, one phase is in and is almost instantly deleted as Golden and Marsh 
rotate in from behind. And Marsh does manage to save that HMG. Again, the fades just switch in between the gates, pressuring these marines. And they're just pulling the marines constantly to defensive positions. But behind this, aliens are taking up. They got seven biomass. They've got advanced swipe, which uh, negates that armor three. Well, it doesn't negate it. It makes it almost necessary. Loam is gonna have a difficult time escaping that. The HMG jetpack combo chasing him down does lose that. Does lose that fade. But like I said, he is the only fade that has the ability to refade. So not the biggest problem for him. As these three marines and Zaford somehow nearly survived that room. Two of these HMGs are very empty in this room, actually. And because they empty, they get picked. Instead they just trying to reload that HMG, it's not going to happen. He could have grabbed the one on the floor that was full. April's rotating in from the other side. HMG jetpack might do a lot of work here. Heracles goes down to her. Very nice shooting. Great pinching. Golden managed to kill one shell in base and hops into the tunnel, so who knows what's going to happen in that s the things. And Phone has an arc. He just. There's not a game Phone can play where he doesn't get an arc. So again, Marines still denying the aliens from a third hive, so aliens don't have the free instant win button of Xenocide and Contamination. But they do have a lot of staying power, and Lom goes so low, is he gonna die? He's gonna die! He tries to escape out the vent up top, but it's just not enough. Out through this vent, he couldn't make it in time. So, although he had that refade, it's gone, and his next one's a long way off. 11 Pires on him now. So, Marines have done what they needed to do. They've managed to keep their res up, they've managed to defend long enough, and they've managed to pick off some life forms. And now with phone arcing some RTs out, which that's a pain to do. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a distance between that RT and where that arc is for the field players. And Hypey Jetpack chasing down turrets might have got herself into a bit of a questionable position. But the beacon to the base does mean that that will be fine. Loam going to try and solo a gate as a skull. Not going to do much there. And Hand Grenade is now on the way. And this entire Marine team, except for Golden, because... Golden is probably the guy being the res builder solo lane of HMGs. Now his stay in this vent might be in a bit of a bad spot if he gets caught out with aura on every alien. And same for Marsh, they can tell he's alone. But we're back up to two fades. Wake is now fading. No more lurking. And again, phone just arcing out the res that the aliens have. Actually, in very annoying spots for the aliens to get to and deal with. His weight's trying to take on his day, but it's not Marshmallow is back up in there. Hypey just shooting down on top of Overhang. They do manage to clean up the marine res in the room. But with this arc still here... I'm pretty sure this still sees this res node, so if it gets scanned again, which it probably will at some point, although Marsh with the HMG jetpack should be able to clean that up, and on... Mm, they're saying that. The fades come in behind. Touch can take a lot of damage. 40 health on the retreat. Zaford's kind of stuck up here. Probably going to get out through base. There's no one on gates to get him. Phone tries to hop out. It does do some damage, but Zaford wasn't low enough.
So, Zafford still trying to escape and he's not going to manage it. Maybe that little bit of phone chip really did it. And there's that scan again, an arc. Just sitting there, destroying that RT. And all this PvE where these fades are right now, golden. That's an unfortunate thing to run into. Heracles is so low and Heracles is going to get picked there. He stayed picking the right target in that fight. Nicely done. Hypey there on the flank. The pinch with the HMG jetpack. Picks off Turks. Wake is extremely low but Hypey is going to opt not to tunnel vision and chase that solo fade into the hive just in case. Desisting this PvE that the aliens have set up. Which uh, is going to give the Marines a way forward to. And if anything, there's a flamethrower. In fact, there are two flamethrowers. Interesting choice on two flamethrowers. Would have been nice to see a grenade launcher in the mix. April's going to be left alone in the middle of the map. Switches to a rifle on the ground, actually. And does get cleaned up in the end. But this hive, not looking too hot. And all the aliens... Gonna opt to try and clear the gates, but these sentries might do enough to distract for long enough. The shells are all down. And this hive is dying so slowly, though. Flamethrowers and HMGs are not spectacular damage output. At least, not on structures. But these flames are probably really annoying to deal with. The fire pools on the ground, ticking away at anything that touches it. The no healing coming out of the hive because it is on fire. Turns is just hiding at the back of the room. He can't do anything. He, oh, he goes in for that swipe. Brave as can be. Manages to get away with it. Hypey doing so much damage to Wake. Going to chase him down. Not going to be able to kill him though. Marsh is coming in. Jetpack shotgun in hand. Hypey's just trying to survive. This hive is so low. Marines just need to regroup. And try this again. There's nothing to heal this hive right now. They don't have a gorge. In fact, I lied. They do have a gorge. Star is a gorge. But again, a GL instead of a flamethrower in that push would have made a world of difference. And they do have two gorges up. Zaffold has gorge. So this does mean there's a little bit less in the way of alien defense. Except now there's a whip. Just wait until that whip makes big plays. Building the armory here, allowing them to just grab hand grenades and throw them in mass spam. It's a nice play from phone. The bio bomb is going to be very annoying to deal with here, but if they can get some more grenades on that hive, gas grenades, clusters, they can really like start forcing the aliens into fights or out of fights because. Gas grenades chip away at all of that armor the aliens have. God, you can hardly see anything. The bone wall comes out, splitting the marines fairly well. It does have a little bit of maneuver room around it though. So no aliens going to win anything out there. Now, while this is happening, we do have loam up on the res. But there is that arc still chewing away at the staging RT. And platform if they ever get dropped. And into the room go the Marines. They pick off the whip. There is a GL here now. April brought the GL that was missing last time. And the damage that does to hives. That's big and painful. Phone killed Heracles somewhere on the map for centuries. Who knows where. Actually, I'll tell you where. Loam in the base. Arms lab down. This is going to change around. But the hive goes down. That's what matters. The beacon to try and save every marine. It's not going to save every marine. Some of them are saved though. Now, recycle this armory. Grab yourself a new arms lab. Do they even realize it's down? They have to realize it's down. There we go. It's dropped again. And in fact, aliens opt in to leave this fight. I don't think they even know that marines don't have that arms lab up yet. So, it was a decent play by both teams. The arms lab is still not on. Okay, there we go. Finally, Armor 3 Weapons 2 is back up. Now these Marines are looking to push out and be aggressive again. 
The Ark did die to loam, so... No more res pressure coming out from Phone himself. But Golden aware of this Skulk being here now. He does manage to clean Loam up. And this Resonode is actually still unsisted and slowly ticking away. And Star's just not in the hive. He's building a new one. So it's not going to get resisted anytime soon either. Which is probably a free RT kill for the Marines here. As Hypey goes in a little bit too far. A little bit too aggressive with no support from her team. She was the only one with the jetpack in the room. April shooting the GL around. That RT did go down in stage end. So, again, Marines just posturing for another attack on the extraction hive. They got the three fades back up as defense. They have the gorge again in start. And while this is happening, Golden's on res recap duty. Phone's got his arc down again, scanning out those two RTs that he can just deny with that arc. And basically just... This one arc is doing the job of, like, two Marines right now. None of these RTs can be capped because of that arc. Which allows the Marines to just be in such a large group on the south side and not have to worry about doing damage to the alien economy. And in fact, as they all go in here again, Tuts trying to be the hero to get the picks. One Marine dies. And this armory finally dies. I don't, I don't really know how it got to the point where it had to be biled to death. And Golden, I don't even know how Golden's here. But he is. If he can kill Zaffold and get up into Silo, which he can't, he could have finished off that last RT. Hypey doing some decent shotgun damage here. And Loam's struggling to get out through the clog wall. And Wake's coming in again. Three fades. But again, another shotgun shot lands. Might be not going to be able to kill them, however. But every fade just left the hive. The GL has been pushed in. The shotgun is here. The rifle's here. And they are trying to focus down April in this fight. Getting the GL out does save the hive. This RT is just going to die again, unfortunately, for the alien team. They're so starved of res right now. Wake does have 64 res. He can own us if he loses this fade. He probably doesn't want to lose the fade. It's probably a lot more effective in this current situation they're in. Someone's down on res. Zaffod's out on the res, but Golden's going to chase him down. Actually, no, Golden's here. Someone else is chasing him down. Hypey's chasing him down with a jetpack and does manage to clean Zaffod up off the res. So, still the six RTs for the Marine team and in fact they have two preemptive blueprints. Not only denying the aliens from capping, but with a Mac out on the field might actually get capped. As this Marine team just sits here trying to deal with this hive and fades can't. The fade touch is so low, manages to escape. Just gets around the rocks in the room to save himself. But this hive, it's gonna die to the one arc, the GL pressure. I think April's trying to find herself a nice little angle. Heracles goes down to the HMG of Golden. April finishes off the hive, and that's where almost all of the marine, the alien biomass, sorry, just disappeared. Zaphod might kill this space gate, not going to. April comes back just in time. The Mac gets killed by Loam. He's had enough of not being able to kill them. In fact, Phone opted not even to build them, just to deny, just to bully the aliens. They have to kill these. Phone's not recycling these, I guarantee it. He doesn't care that that cost him 10 res. That's denying the aliens from getting any more than this one RT they have. And that one RT is not even full health. So. Arcs rolling across the map. Three fades still up, but... As we've seen, three fades might not be enough to deal with the issues being presented by this marine team. And with all five Marines here, three of them with jetpacks, 
even with four life forms on the field, aliens having some difficulty dealing with this. They can't really pack down res with three fades. They can clean up marines. That shouldn't be an issue. But they can't clean up the marines if they aren't playing together either. So, I'm not really sure what they're trying to do right now. Every marine's back on a jetpack. Every marine... Okay, not every marine has the res for a rebuy of a jetpack. But on seven RTs, it won't take too long to get there. And the only RT that's dying on the map, I think, is dying to infestation and not an alien. Yeah. As aliens use, lose, even, yet another harvester. And this arc is just going to deny this one. So down goes this tunnel. I would expect to see a phase gate over here eventually. Maybe not, those phones just rolling arcs. But a phase gate which in fact does get dropped on the lower ground, although it's questionable positioning because this is a different power node to this. This room up here is separate from this room over here. Fades do help the lurk get through on res, although Marsh is back here and might be able to pick Zaffold off in this room. Gotta be careful, there's a big hole there Marsh, you don't want to fly in there. He does manage to get Zaffold on the escape. Piste was there for the pinch, actually weight goes down as well, the jetpack's raining true in that room. The <laughs> the hallucination of Zaffold gets killed. Heracles died in, the vent, in a vent somewhere? Not entirely sure where that happened, not even entirely sure what he was. But Marines, four phase gates, they now have this gate up in reach to push silo. However, they don't have that grenade launcher anymore. That's gone somewhere. But this room, these fades, it's huge. There's so much space for aliens to just blink around and survive in here. And even though there's a full marine push, trying to get out of this room to fight these marines, you get funneled very difficultly. There's an egg, oh my god, the Onos egg goes down! It got scanned! What a pick off by the marines! The beacon to save them from everything else might have cost them the gate, it's hard to tell. No, they've got jetpacks, they just come straight out of it. Turts is low, Loam is half health, the Skulks can't finish the gate without their help. And the arcs are just working down the hive. Veils are slowly dying to the arc splash. And honestly, that might be it right there. That pick on the Onos egg. The beacon out to save the whole team from getting in a bad situation. Turts is down. Loam's on 70 health. He's getting chased. He's in the hive. That's a good game. T-shirts confirmed. Taking the first round. 37 minutes and what a game it was. That was some damn good start to this best of seven. And boy, I hope every map doesn't go on for 37 minutes, because that's going to start hurting my throat. Anyway, let's have a look at the accuracies. Pretty solid 25% across the Marine team. The HMG has a bigger spread, so accuracy not so impressively high. Aliens, accuracy doesn't really matter too much. Well, it does, and, you know, same thing. Ultimately, when you're doing 12,000 player damage, does it matter if you've got 25% accuracy? Hype is just deleting lifeforms. 27 kills, same as April, actually. Both of them out there just fragging hard. 20 kills on Heracles and Turts. Big structure damage coming out of Heracles as well, and in fact, Phone with the 31,000 structure damage. The arc over here, arcing... Okay, it's a bad circle, isn't it? Here's a circle, and then we'll put the... Yeah, and the arc was here. That is the most ridiculous arc spot I've seen on a map in a long time. Because that meant that aliens didn't have staging, they didn't have platform, they had silo, and they couldn't hold extraction because it was being pushed. And, you know, it's kind of awkward to see that. But, uh, 
Anyway, the tech tree, the very, very fast armor three. Like that, right there, insane. And of course, that's eight minutes into the game. Advanced swipe was 10 minutes later. It took that much longer for Fades to be able to deal with armor three. The resgraph, the marines, you know, who cares? Aliens, four RTs, doesn't matter when you're on six. If they're rich, you're just as rich, if not richer. And the aliens, towards the end of that game, just, they lost, they, they had fades for so long and they just couldn't get anything done. And then eventually they just lost everything. The Onos egg snipe was huge. And without that Onos being able to push that marine team and just tank bullets, Silo 5 didn't stand much of a chance. So I'll be right back now. I'm desperately in need of a drink. Um, so yeah. Okay, friends, I'm back. So, yeah. That was some stuff. I'm assuming, by looking at chat, the end of the game has not yet happened. But I can't remember when the game finished. So you know what, let's just uh, put on a video of the map again. Because some people want to know what it is. Or just even have never played the map and you might be able to see what the uh, rooms look like, you know? What was that one was supposed to do, Lambo? I mean, it's obvious. He was supposed to be the one that killed the gate. Oh, jeez, man. We're going live. Screw the video. Got important things to do. There's your teams once again. And seeing if they can pull off another win or if it's going to go in the favor of the Marines again. T-shirts confirmed, starting off over an extraction with gold in their gorge. And the strat out of the marines is the fast second IP. Three south, two north split. And an arms lab. So. 
slow it all down a bit. Yep. Things are going to get interesting. No one's ambushing up in assembly here. Normally this is like the corners that get ambushed. But with every single person being here, Golden's going in first. Needs to make sure he doesn't get picked off. And the Skulks, one of them just gets deleted. Hypey's going to fall as well. Marsh is alive. The Babblers give him that extra bit of protection. And on the other side of the map, April, I think she got some Parasites off. And she got one off on Loam. But this puts Golden on the uh, not-so-great side of this room. And in fact... Could get pinched out. He's probably going to be fine. I don't think anyone's going to chase that. Or not, not chase it. Uh, try and pinch it. But I say that. And Heracles is in a position to do so. Golden will survive the three marines chasing him. Where's my Benny Hill music right now? As uh, NS2 crashed. Straight up hard crashed. Straight to desktop. Okay, that's pretty good. The natural selection too has just hard crashed to desktop. We're back. That was something. Anyway, here we are. So, Golden is in fact dead. He has lost that gorge. Kind of unfortunate we didn't get to see that one happen. So, what's happened in this time? Who knows? The resgraph doesn't update when you're not in the game. Marines have capped up some of the north side. They have platform. They're capping up in silo. And they have enclave. April. Between two Marines. Going to have a little bit of a rough time finding a way out of that one. Unless she manages to pick one of them. And she's got that box of safety. Not going to be able to kill Heracles. Doesn't get over the lip in time to escape. Wake, on the other hand, has found himself a shell. It's pretty nice. A little pickup. And Golden's just trying to get the parasites on Marines. He's going to miss two on Loam. Does get the third attempt. And nearly even gets the bites in. As Wake... Doesn't manage to pick that drifter off, and Heracles isn't going to be able to do anything about those skulks. IP waiting for the ambush, but Wake opts to go back, and his state doesn't really have the health to stay here. This drifter, while healing itself because of the crag hive, might not be able to stay alive when Turtz finds it. But it doesn't matter because Histe found a wake on the way out. Zaphod's going to clean up Golden in this room. And the Drifter's still alive. Still going strong. That's just sticking around below that vent while parasited. Doesn't want to give off what he's doing next. We do have the one look up and Histe is an egg. And in fact, star? Never mind. Timing's just a little bit off. Although Marsh is also lurking, and that was an interesting spot for the egg. Could have been picked off. Zaphod. Oh my god, Marsh, you're three health. I didn't even see that. Jeez. Star's trying to pick off the eggs. Or the eggs? The shell's in base. And phone's going to take him down. April opt in to grab regen in that vent and get herself some health before she gets back into another fight. And the advanced armory is yet again the strategy coming up. As Heracles is going to get baited into pushing around that pillar, trying to finish Hypey off there. Not going to be able to make that one work. And Tut, successfully capping up pretty much all of the north side to himself. The scan goes down. He knows he's going to be safe. And Facetech's on the way, but 
Every single marine or marine alien is in the base. Heracles around the corner might be able to pick something. The OBS goes down. Zephyrd and Loam are rotating in. They might be able to assist. This stars out of the chair. Marsh is a very low lurk. He needs some health, but he doesn't even need health. April's just going to kill everything. Marsh is getting healed. The regen on the lurks as well. Tarts is the only one left to rotate. He's had to rotate all the way back from staging. Can he do it? He's not going to be able to. Marsh and his stay are going to clean him up. And now it's just three things on your IPs. The mucus spam coming out of the comm with the drifter. This may very well be it as the last IP is surrounded. Star's just going to hop off over the top of every alien. That is the very quick finale on Nexus before we head on to our second map. And t shirts confirmed a 2 0 up. And that's that one over. So. Time for people to pick maps, because there's not a whole bunch you can say about that, other than Marines have a ton of res, dude. You hope they paused for me? They didn't. They didn't need to pause for me. It happens. It's impressive that I haven't had an S2 crash in uh, a very long time, and it happens while streaming the game. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that kill graph. This is the stairway to heaven that the Marines are all taking right now. It's unfortunate that this is how it had to be seen. But that's where we got to. I don't know what map just won the vote. What map won the vote? I don't know. No one said a map. Oh, Jambi got said. Never mind, here's a video of Jambi, just in case. You want to see it? And T-shirts confirmed choosing to spawn as aliens first. Alright, so, these shots confirmed are two up over Code of Conduct. I believe Nexus was T-Shirt's map pick, so it stands to reason that they would have the favored, favored, the favored result. <laughs> and we get to sit here and see how this is going to turn out. And maybe I should put my phone on silent.
freaking notifications and stuff, dude. Jeez. But anyway. Nonetheless, this is Jambi, and it will be different from the last game, because it's a, you know, it's a map that I feel like people are a bit more comfortable playing. It's a map that's been around a lot longer than Nexus has. But, we'll see. I guess we're just waiting on Loam to join up. And then once everyone's in here and ready to go, everything should be fine. Mom's now on the team, so just a little bit of waiting. This is the finals. It is a best of seven. I'm telling you this five minutes from now. I hope that helps. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. So there's your teams yet again. T-shirts confirmed. Code of misconduct. T-shirts confirmed. Two O up already in this best of seven. And they are choosing to spawn up in Pipeworks. Yet again, Golden going Gorge. So Heracles gets the job of solo capping as four marines opt to cap repairs and in fact stars out of the chair so he might be able to pick off any lurking scopes but instead April's gonna bait with that parasite take a bit of damage but Marsh with the ambush does manage to finish star off and isn't gonna be able to kill Heracles but April does get down into the vent Well, this is three marines and Golden might get caught out here. His stay with the ambush does have the babblers to give him that little bit of extra health. Hypey now with some babblers of her own. And that's a quick cleanup. Very nicely done by the marines. I mean, by the marines. I mean, the marines did a very good job at dying. I'll give them that. But the Skulks baited those marines in. Nice ambushes. The babblers were there for the support. Now two Skulks and Golden on this RT. Marsh is ready to just ambush Zaford out of the spawn. Zaford sees him. Very small little barrel that he opted to hide behind. And now Hypey with the ambush. Gonna get caught out. Managed to get the Parasite before she retreats. And takes barely any damage actually. But now Golden's gonna get focused down. And that's unfortunate. Every marine dies the other side of the door. Alone, on his, only his pistol is going to lose the fight to Histe though. So they are down a gorge, which does slow down their expansion a bit. But, you know, while all of that's been happening, absolutely nothing has gone up for the marines on the left side of the map. April, still alive down here somehow. Done enough work. So now, Marines are just attempting to recap their own natural again. And Golden's not going to get that ambush off on Loam, as Loam was ready for him to come around that corner. Whether he heard him or he saw him earlier, we don't know, because I wasn't looking at it then. I hope he gets picked off after getting that parasite, so Histi's left here alone. 
And during this, we can start pushing on into X, but Marsh behind the pipe in the room does manage to clean up both of them. Nicely done. Heracles, however, desisted organ, put some damage onto the node. And does clean one of the skulks up, removing them temporarily from the field. Zloom might be about to die to a parasite. Never mind, he does get a med just in time. Could have been a world of difference. As armor one completes for the marine team. No more two bite parasite kills coming out. And Loom's just gonna back up here. Realizes there's not much he can do. Aliens are ready for him to walk in. Weak is about to find every lurk in the game. And in fact, it only takes the one as he shoots all of his bullets into the harvester. April, a little bit delayed on the re reaction to Heracles being there. The downside of playing from Japan with 200 and something ping. And now the Lurk's just ready to defend Waste and Turns is the only one over here right now. We might have Loma's support soon. Then again, maybe not. And Loma will rotate into this, but that's not going to save any of them. Loma and Turt's both going down. I mean, our weak will kill this RT. It's a bit of a win for the Marine team, as they lose one of their own. But Marines are up 5 over 3 still, so not too much of an issue for them. There is Drifter support in these fights as well. Marines Mucus is coming out, sometimes unnecessarily. But now, this is 3 Marines. Golden's going to get caught out, maybe. Maybe not. Manages to belly slide himself away. Heracles in this vent, though, could pick a lurk off. His stays low. Marsh isn't. But I think Marsh may have just spotted Heracles on his alien vision looking at that vent. Marsh, do you not want to challenge that vent as Heste claims wake up? And if Heste just comes in behind here, Heracles isn't going to stand much of a chance. And in fact, Heste is not apparently even aware that Heracles is in this vent. Or maybe he was just checking the other side first to make sure. Now, this could turn into a 3 main marine pressure into Oxy, as Heracles opts to actually go out the other side. And the two lurks rotate through that vent, and get cleaned up very quickly. I think they got distracted by the Skulk coming around the corner. They weren't looking at the vent to get the easy damage in. That's trying to deny Baywing. Does desist, but with the Gorge being here, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. And again... Wakers found himself a nice harvester to kill an organ, and he might be able to pick off a shell. In fact, he's almost certainly going to pick off a shell. So, good job by Wake, and realizing that this entire alien team is the other side of the map, and they're pack playing hard together. Golden gets focused down so fast in that fight. They've had enough of that rubbish. Zaford might be able to pinch his stay on the escape. He goes into the vent, the vent that's so long. That was a close one. And now... This thing does manage to find his way out. He did lose one. Surprisingly, the one that you thought might die is the one that survived. Now... Fades in the form of Hypey and April, both on their way. So maybe not the biggest issue. As they are now working on taking down some of this marine res on the left side of the map. And two fades. One lurk. Weak. Trying to be a little bit sneaky. They're going to get found out. As the advanced armory comes up again with the seemingly standard 1-2. As every alien is going base. There's drifter support again. 
And this time the beacon's there. No one's on the obs. They'll be able to rotate out. Long did get the nice beacon up into this section of docking. Or into, yeah, docking bay. Nearly allowed him to pick off one of the life forms, but not enough. Meanwhile, Marsh and his, they should be able to kill. No, they don't kill the RT. Marsh, you should have stayed. It's so low. It's going to get welded. That's a bit of a misstep from the aliens. As Marsh now dies. But he's not going to be able to do anything there. And these scans just going down constantly to keep their eye on where the fades are. They do have four RTs. They can afford some scans, but none of these life forms are even low. Although, Wake and Heracles making use of this information, just getting that left side capped safely. Gordon's found himself down into the marine base and has got that obs down halfway. And he might even be able to kill Star here. And if he does, that would be a big win. It's a big win. He's going to get out of here. And if anything, maybe people forget that that is a low observatory and they might be able to pick it as April Hypey and his they take down and remove Heracles and wake off the field in that pressure group because the comm was dead out of the chair. So, got some RTs now coming back up for the aliens. They were down a few. But they've returned the pressure and forced the Marines into some recap. Supply did finally die after being very low. But now the fades come in on these three Marines. The HMG's left around the corner though. He can't shoot the life forms off of his teammates. And he's just going to get cleaned up, removed and replaced with uh, a dead body. Is that a replacement? Maybe not. But the one thing you might notice is that this still isn't welded. Golden did such a good job distracting a base, killing the commander, that maybe that observatory doesn't ever get welded. And maybe that observatory comes back to bite them in their ass very hard. Again, this HMG collection that every Marine team seems to be putting out. Very dangerous to deal with for any alien. Especially a solo alien. And here we go. The big crush again. One of the HMGs doing down very quickly. Not too much damage being dealt across them. April's the main receiver of bullets. And actually takes a lot on the way out. And again, just the pack of aliens is so strong. Three RTs for the Marine team mean that aren't that just there aren't meds in these fights, at least not consistently. Hypey having a bit of difficulty managing to kill Loam as he gets support in gravity, but she does manage to find a way out of there safely. His stays on the res on the left side with Golden. And Heracles and Wake having that difficult time of staying in that offlane, getting the res up. Just to see it all go down again. The Marines look like they're trying to just keep gravity alive and get a gate up. April goes in, gets some swipes without taking too much damage and takes more on the way out. But the Marines have the gate in their base. So now they really are just trying to hold this. And in fact, Heracles and Wake are going to make a ton of room. And here stay. Oh my god, he's just going to sit on the wall behind the pillar. Hypey goes low. April's half health. And Heracles has got that HMG reloaded. But Hypey comes in from behind, manages to get the last swipes in. And with Vampirism, gets herself some health back. But of course, meds were spent in this fight. So there's still no res for this gate. There's still just three marines doing nothing in gravity. They've put no pressure on. They've stopped no scout getting through. They're just sitting here waiting for a gate and by the time they get the res, which in fact 
has been put into an RT instead, all they're doing is holding the gravity node. That's it. And they're going to lose this one marine. The drifter doing wonders scouting things on the way out. <laughs> this is the drifter building. I don't even know what that is. Who knows? Is it a cyst? It's a cyst under the ground, I believe. Or underneath the floor, because that happens sometimes. Now Wake with his HMG, again, there's just a lot of p getting just flung across the ground. Finally, the gravity gate has been dropped. But with three fades up and two of them being in gravity, can they even finish it? In fact, the fades just opt to leave completely. So yeah, this gate is going to go up. April's down in base, bullying the commander. Star is dead. He stays here as well. And in fact, the gate goes up and April's going to pay for that. Mistakes have been made, but the two fades that were in grab are now just camping this gate. His thing's going to come and start biting. And as they all phase in, goodbye to your HMGs. The mucus is there to just add that extra supporting health. Hypey's escape route, though, could have been questionable through Heracles and Zaphod. Does manage to realize that there before that happens. And his thing somehow finds his way out of here as well. So no... No drastic changes in the swing of things. There's still two fades on the field. But that is, is pretty much everything you see that the Marines have is right here. It is docking bay to gravity and nothing else. Aliens are on six RTs, seven on the way, seven biomass. No advanced swipe yet. It would be a nice change of pace because it would put these marines on the three swipes and hypey just goes down actually to heracles and gravity so again these hmgs still being insanely strong and now marines realize that maybe they need to get something done <coughs> and they're going to try and do that with four marines in baywing they can get this gate up it's going to be really big for them Golden on the flank, probably been noticed by the scan, I assume. April goes down as a fade again. The HMGs are insane. Marsh is the only fade up. I think Hypey is refading right now. Yes, she is. So Marines slowly stabilizing here. They're getting themselves a fourth RT with this gate. And they're going to be able to put a bit... Of pressure onto this hive. Golden's down in the base and, and instantly there are two marines back here with HMGs to deal with him. So that's not going to change much. Meanwhile Loam and Turt's opting to push in and Turt's I think has... Oh he's got a GL out actually. He does die but his day pays f with his own life. Which is a bit more of a loss because that was a lurk. However, three HMGs and a GL that could change things there a bit. Advanced Swipe has actually finished. So, the Fades do have a bit more swipe power. And you can see it there. Weak takes huge damage from Hypey's swipes. Hypey, on the other hand, takes huge damage because there's three HMGs in that room. and has to go all the way back over to Pipe to heal up. Golden, up as a Fade, ready to flash it and make the Marines think they're going to win as he goes and kills every Resonode on the map. And this is just slaughter on every kind of angle. The only marine left standing is Turts, and that's a straight to the gate. Hardly any damage taken on these life forms. One lurk and a skulk, the enzyme, the mucus, that gate's gone. As are all of those weapons. And the only like real res on the field for anyone is in Lone's pocket. The beacon, I don't think that's even gonna save this. There's the mucus and the enzyme. Make that such short work of a gate. This this obs is still forty seven percent. There's biomass eight done. Nine is on the way. There are three hives up by the way. And here they go to base again. 
They're going straight on the arms lab with nothing but fades. It's kind of low. It might die. The HMV comes in. Golden's sticking it. He doesn't care if he loses that life form. But now, advanced swipe fades get the rule of the roost. They're just... That's... The Marines have all been picked. The only fade that died is the one you knew was going to die when he came in the room. Now they're just going to get farmed on respawn over and over again. There's nothing they can do. They're all in... The, I say that and then Heracles kills his day as he spawns. Heracles just abusing the phase gate to get out and get in again. But, yeah. April's in an egg, going gorge in their base. <laughs> There's, uh... Oh, no. April was left to die by her team. This is one of those games where... There's not much you can do when every fade in your base is guaranteed to land swipes on you and they have vampirism. The GG gets called and t-shirts confirmed and to take the third in a row. That's putting some pressure on Code of Misconduct. That's a lot of wins. Code of Misconduct looked pretty good at the start. They started coming back in that as well. But three fades... Wait, what, what do you mean winning? It's a best of seven. <laughs> I mean, all right, we'll just uh, ignore the chat memes. <laughs> Harder. <coughs> so yeah, Heracles, 14 kills, carrying a lot of that fragging power. Well, I'm up there with the damage, the HMG just putting it all out very quickly. Hypey carrying the alien team. Highest can be, highest damage, highest accuracy, highest kills. And here's the with all the structure damage. That's pretty decent. Decently ahead of the rest. But, uh, there's that's the problem. Losing the arms lab at 17 minutes into the game with advanced swipe fades in your base. Who were bio 8 at the time, I believe. Kind of unfortunate and yeah. You can see the farm happen. It's the stairway to heaven again. <coughs> what is advanced swipe? As I just noticed in chat. Advanced swipe makes, or it's a replacement for stab. It just upgrades the default swipe of a fade to 81 damage. Which makes it 3 shot armor 2 and 4 shot armor 3 instead of 4 and 5. Or 4 and 4? Something like that. Yeah, actually, I think it's 4 and 4 regardless. By default at the 70 whatever, 75 damage swipe. So it makes armor 3 a very valuable upgrade later into the game, which is, as you can see, something that the marines didn't get to. So they had 5 minutes of that advantage of... Actually, no, they had armor 2 at 6 minutes, that's weapons 2 at 10 minutes. So they had a long time with the armor 2 advantage. Until they got the fades with the advanced swipe, which then just... Drastically changes engagements. Actually, let's see, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, I mean, I don't really, there's not much of a spike. There's a lot of clears that happened, a lot of pack play. So, here we are then, potentially the last round. This could be the winning round for T-Shirts Confirmed. Or, maybe it's time for the comeback. Can Kodamus Conduct do it? Can they take it? 4-3 in 
a reverse sweep. It's time to find out, that's for sure. T-shirt's confirmed yet again. Code of misconduct. Time to see how this one goes. Because it should be a good way to end this. And you know when you look at this hive and then they actually spawn in this hive? How awkward. Anyway, waste recycling is the chosen spawn for code of misconduct. And docking bay is of course the forced marine spawn on the map. And starting out with an armory could mean some very tricksy tactics. We could see some fast shotguns. We could see fast mines, which is fairly common. We could also see the potential of a lot of sneaking skulks. And Loam's gonna find his way. The advanced armory actually straight away and Loam's gonna see it. And Loam's actually gonna get all the way into this base and if no one kills a marine, this could be a dead IP. But Marines are just coming back to deal with this. Three of them are returning. Phone's jumped out of the chair and it's just he's just gonna kill Loam instead. Never mind. Meanwhile, Marsh pushing up towards X, making sure that some scopes have something to do, and he does get cleaned up there. As April and Golden holding gravity strong. Now, here's the cleaning one skulk and one hallucination up as an RT goes down in gravity. That will get the Marines up to four much quicker than Marines got to four last game as they were bullied in their own naturals. Hypey's going to get ambushed by Zaford. No pressure being allowed that side, which would have been helpful for the Marines. Now, Gordon sneaking on in isn't going to suffer the same fate. So now Turtz needs to be a little bit careful here. He is alone for the moment. The closest Skulk is Heracles on the ceiling in this room and he's going to drop down and pick off April. Marsh does, however, make sure work of him. And in fact, Turtz did win the fight against Golden. Who now has to face the same pressure while Wake has found his way down into base. And I think Someone else loans down here as well. IP is getting baited big time by hallucinations as Turch just runs away, but Hypey's not getting any meds. So unfortunately for her, that's death by gorge. And Wake with a nice ambush manages to pick off one. In fact, both of the Marines in his hive. Getting the heals from the hive during that attack. Very nicely done. And now we might just see, because they're in a really strong position, we're going to just see a rush with advanced armory. HMG's Loam is about to spot everything. In fact, he's going to go for the drop down. At that point, I feel like maybe the better play would have been get some parasites. There's blueprints across the map. Histe got picked off. That's a downed HMG. Not great. But there's no other hive choice now. If these marines get away with this. If Hypey gets picked behind. She's got a GL. She can't die. Oh my god. Golden saves her with the GL of his own. It's two GLs on a hive. And look at this health drop. This is going to be close. This hive has to die before any blueprint does it. and I think it's happening. This chair is 40%, this hive is 27 It's gonna go down, and it's as simple as that. T-shirt's confirmed. The four minute rush with the advanced armory. That is this kind of strategy that you only pull out when you know you're so far ahead in a best of seven. That's not going to work every game. Don't go and try that one in pubs, guys. But that... I mean, the stats, like, th that doesn't matter. Look at the tech. That is all that really matters in this game. The straight to advanced armory. Yeah. 
The blueprints across the map, aliens are nowhere near the res available to drop their own hive. And as simple as that, T-shirt confirmed, take the 4-0 over Code of Misconduct. Nexus looked close, it could have gone either way. Hell, the last round could have gone either way. But this time, if if maybe one pick had been different on that Marine push up the right side of the map, anything could have happened. Anyway, that was pretty great. Thanks for watching. I've been crazy on NSL TV for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the finals. There will inevitably be more NS2 eventually when the next season starts, or if there are other cups happening. So, yeah. Keep watching. And, uh, whatever you do, don't try phone strats, because they're dangerous. So, goodbye.